to be a women on the block. I got to go in and out of my house. I should not have to be afraid of your son. That they want to take my purse. We can't even carry purses anymore. You saw it and you heard it. We can't even carry purses anymore. Yikes. But don't don't lock anybody up though. <laughs> make it make sense. We can't even carry purses anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all have so much charisma, though. <laughs> yeah. It don't sure. matter what y'all are talking about. Y'all get so fired up. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense, but y'all are so confident. Yeah, very confident, man. Yeah, we we're different, man. It just, it just, yeah. Definitely, man. Ah, but she's she, that, that's a that's a rough one, man. That's a women can't even carry purses anymore. Right at the same time when guys are starting to carry them. It's weird, man. You got women on the block. I gotta go in and out of my house. I should not have to be afraid of your son. That they want to take my purse. We can't even carry purses anymore. That they want to you saw it and you heard it. Outrage in the south suburbs tonight after a shocking video showed gunfire erupting right near a squad car. Parents spoke out tonight in an emergency meeting saying the incident is just the tip of the iceberg. Nate Rogers is live in Hazelcrest with more. Nate. Yeah, that's right. Um, Tia and Natalie, this is at least the second time this year um, District 152 and a half has organized an emergency meeting all about crime. The district president says just about a month ago, a group of cheerleaders were shot at all in the seventh grade as they were walking home. We have gunshots in the area all the time. Well, that's normal. A group of seventh grade cheerleaders getting shot at as they're walking home from school. I mean... That happens all the time in Gladys neighborhoods, right, Trishman? Every hour. Yeah, man, that's normal. Everyone's doing that, man. My own burritos stand up, right? Seventh grade chili is getting shot at all the time in your communities too, right? Tigers, everybody, man, stand up, man. Let's talk about this, man. We're all in this together, man. We gotta. No one group is gonna be able to fix this, man. We all gotta fix this together, man. The tip of the iceberg. Nate Rogers is live in Hazelcrest with more. Nate. Yeah, that's right. Um, Tia and Natalie, this is at least the second time this year um, District 152 and a half has organized an emergency meeting all about crime. The district president says just about a month ago, a group of cheerleaders were shot at all in the seventh grade as they were walking home. We have gunshots in the area all the time. We've had uh, former and current students targeted with attempted murders and murders. The Jesse White Learning Academy Auditorium packed with concerned residents, Hazelcrest educators and students. Complaints included drivers speeding in residential neighborhoods, requests for more streetlights, but most of all, young people living in fear to and from school. Probably like six months ago, my son got jumped. That's some gas in the neighborhood. These crimes ain't just happening with people outside the neighborhood. It's with the kids right here. I have the village of Hazelcrest on speed dial. I got them on speed dial. And when I get on the phone with them, I say, let's cut to the chase. The meeting comes a day after the town released this surveillance footage. He said, when she get on the phone with the police, she cut to the chase, man. She ain't, they ain't no ma'am. What's your name? Where are you? Come get these sun words. On speed dial. I got them on speed dial. And when I get on the phone with them, I say, let's cut to the chase. The meeting comes a day after the town released this surveillance footage. Four men seen with guns drawn. According to police, shots were fired, all while a Hazelcrest police cruiser. What happened? minutes audience members criticizing the town's police, police cruiser oh that's their video that's the video that's them doing it minutes audience members criticizing the town's police chief for not attending we caught up with him later so the biggest issue oh, is juveniles with guns and that's just not a hazelcrest issue that's the societal issue that's going on right now is kids with guns. Concerned residents also calling out parents. We got to do better as parents. Absolutely. As I don't care if it's your son. I don't care if it's your daughter. Well, 
you know, whatever you got to do. And the police chief there, Mitchell Davis, also told us right now they have a 12 and a 13 year old behind bars allegedly for committing crimes here in the south suburbs. He says their guardians are begging a judge to keep them in custody because they've caused so much havoc to their family. Reporting live in Hazelcrest, Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. Oh, my God, man. And on that.